What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog here on Coaster Dash and today we're going to Six Flags New England in Massachusetts, a park I've been to a few times before but I had the realization the other day that I haven't really made like a one legitimately awesome full length Six Flags New England vlog. The first time I ever came to this park it was raining and I just didn't feel like vlogging that day. I knew all my stuff was going to get wet. I also didn't know how much was going to be open that day but actually I ended up getting all the credits and everything worked according to plan. I also have a shorter revisit to Six Flags New England. Oh, that vlog's already up on the channel but that's just a short thing. This time we're going to try to get on as much as we can here. Obviously the revised thoughts on Superman and Wicked Cyclone of course. I'm going to try to get front seat POVs for the first time on those and we're with wooden warrior girl Hi. i've been with so many different people recently we were with lance just recently now we're with the wood warrior girl Whoa. welcome back to coaster dash i'm Sam. so excited i love doing a coaster dash vlog it's so fun are you excited and fright fest i forgot and to mention fright fest. that i haven't been to a park at night in so long i haven't been to a fright fest type thing in so long i'm really excited night to rides. see how it is i, I don't think i've ever gotten night like rides on, on anything here so <laughs> No, I haven't been here at night in forever. This will be cool. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. So join us here from Six Flags New England in Massachusetts. Let's head inside. Ah! First ride of the day is gonna be Superman the Ride, the park's Intamin mega coaster. This opened in the year 2000. And this is a very, very monumental ride. It's absolutely ginormous and very famous. It's a Golden Ticket Award winner for best steel coaster. And even though I've never been over the moon for this ride like some have, I still enjoy it. And I'm willing to give it another shake, see how it's running. Because it is one of those temperamental coasters. Sometimes it's running well, sometimes it's not so good. Hey, what's up? <laughs> How's it going? Good, how about you? Hell yeah, in the middle of a vlog. <laughs> I was literally just vlogging. <laughs> Superman the Ride now in the front row. This is going to be pretty sick and this coaster does have one of my favorite views on a roller coaster so you'll see that at the top. What's up? We got an enthusiast behind us. Hey. How's it going? Wow. The Connecticut River to the left, rest of the park to the right. Here we go. fun ride it tracks so jank compared to other intamins though like the profiling is so weird it and wonky weird. but it's a fun coaster great air time on that superman the ride really fun coaster i do like it a lot and it has grown on me over time i think it has some great air time on there some good elements and to me that coaster is a little bit temperamental but it was running really well today i think the front is my favorite on this um you get some good speed and i think speed is one of the most underrated aspects of a roller coaster that's why top thrill dragster and king of ring so highly for me and things like that you like it it was so fun. I love front. I've always preferred front to back on this, which is kind of unpopular, but I just love the speed. And like, honestly, that's the best part about this ride. It's just like the speed. And Rob I don't, know, Bauer, like, I don't even care about the airtime. It's mostly just speed for me. Yeah, it's fun. fair enough. It's just fun. I think what's interesting is like us coaster enthusiasts always talk about how back row is like better on most coasters, but I'd actually beg to differ. Like it's like 50 50 now. Yeah. Like I ride a lot of coasters no, where I, I really do like the front, like the front more. In so many rides. Most hypers, I like the front more. I just more. love the speed. I love the wind. It's 
Yeah. Uh, I like getting pushed over the hills. Hey. In my opinion, uh, I think this ride is a front row ride. Yeah, I agree. I think I agree. Yep. And I think getting pushed over the hills is better. Than yeah, being and over. better than the back because you get insane airtime going up the crest. That hill right there. Yeah, that one. Right there. Best part of the ride. Really, really good. What ride are we on? Thunderbolt! Oh, that was so close <laughs> to the camera. Is this the oldest coaster at this park? Yeah, I think 1941. Wow, holy cow, I didn't know it was that old. Yeah. Yeah, nice PTC Woody. I always like riding my classic wooden coasters. These are always fun rides and they tend to be maintained very well too. So they should be fun. And PTC is still in business. They just don't build coasters anymore. They still supply parts. Here we go. Might be wrong. Maybe, we'll see. Oh, look at that, that's so nice. Here we go. Those bounces were that nuts. Was crazy. It was a little bit rough. <laughs> Woo! I like the layout though. Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh! Oh my balls! My balls! Shut up. <laughs> oh my god! My balls! No! Turn it off! Turn it off! Oh god! Turn it off! I just realized we're. We're on a wheel seat, that's why it sucks. Oh, oh no! Whoa! Oh, okay, that was pretty fun. Whoa! That was good, I like that. Damn, that thing was kinda rough. Kinda rough, very rough. Very rough in some parts, but good air time. It's fun, it's just, we chose not maybe the right seat to ride that. Yeah. Sometimes it's just really rough. Some days it's better. Wasn't yeah. that bad last time I did it. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. A back row POV from Thunderbolt, the park's oldest coaster. Hey, it is an ace landmark. That's pretty cool. 1941. How did you know that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro is RCDD. <laughs> I don't know. I've just been coming here for a while. I feel you like... are the database. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've seen the number 1941 a lot. And that was fun, but mm -hmm. it is definitely really showing its age. The layout say. isn't bad at all. The layout, no, yeah, the layout is actually great. really good. It's a good family coaster. It just, it's really rough. Yeah. Um, I think it, part of it was that we were on a wheel seat. It's better towards the front. It's probably better on a non-wheel seat. Yeah. But mostly it's kind of... It's true on any wooden <laughs> coaster. I mean, you know, when we did yeah. El Toro a month and a half ago, mm -hmm. it was so much smoother on a non-wheel seat compared mm -hmm. to a wheel seat. So yeah, if you are riding a Woody that, and you're sensitive to roughness, then there you go. That's a nice tip for you. Also, they assign rows on the back, so. We were lucky though, we got luck. the back. Yeah, we did. It was, was pretty, very it was cool. pretty good luck. Hoping to get a front row POV for you guys, but back row is always a good ride experience as well. So yeah, that was, that was a fun ride. I definitely think they need to smoothen out a little bit, but other than that, it was a fun coaster. And we're heading to Wicked Cyclone next. Yes! Look at that shot, whoa! So excited to be back on. Wow, what a view. For how short this is, that's a great view.
the back, but that was good. That was really good. Wicked Cyclone, one of the more divisive RMCs. Some love it, some think it's overrated, some don't like it so much. It's a little bit of a weird scenario, but um, I definitely fall in the camp that loves this ride. I think it's fantastic. Of course, manufactured by Rocky Mountain Construction, and in my opinion, one of the better small ones. It's a really long ride. Every element hits for me, except for some of the like, little turns towards the end, but it's a very minor nitpick, really. All the airtime moments hit. They're really, really fun. The inversions are all really cool. The ride is super, super smooth. Doesn't really get smoother, to be honest. It's a fantastic ride. It's so fun. Like, I never ride it in the front. That was kind of weird for me. It definitely feels very different. I think I like it in the back better. But it's just so like fast. Like even though you're not really going that fast, you, it feels RMC so fast. RMC is so good. The wind at that. in your face. Yeah, you know, it, I think it's an RMC thing because it's just really fun. We're gonna go back around. We're gonna do it in the back because I definitely want to see how that experience compares to the front. But yeah, that was a great ride. Absolutely love that coaster. It's fantastic. We're on the back row now for Wicked Cyclone. This lighting is so nice. It's almost sunset. It's beautiful out. Such a good RMC. We're about to get on Batman The Dark Knight, the park's underrated BNM Floorless, possibly the most underrated BNM Floorless I've done. I think it's a really fun coaster. It doesn't get nearly enough respect. What year did this open since you, you're your RCDB? Actually, I don't know. For some reason I'm saying 2001, but that doesn't feel right. Let's That's check. just the number that came to my head. Let's check, and if you're... If it's, it's either, okay, is it 2001? I was- 2002. Thinking, okay. You were very okay, close. Okay, like, well, I'm on fire today. You are, that was good. That was a good guess. That started late. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, oh, that's pretty. But yeah, that recording started a little bit um, late, so you guys didn't even like get the drop. But <laughs> that's funny. Batman is fun. I really like that ride. I think it's pretty cool. Underrated for sure. Doesn't do anything mind blowing, but for how little it's talked about, I think it's quite good. <laughs> It was really fun. I like this ride in the front a lot more than I do in the back, which is kind of weird for a B&M floorless, but it's just true. I don't know why. It's so much more like- It shakes sometimes. It is shaky. That last corkscrew is really shaky, but if you put your head forward, honestly, it's fine. It's, the rest it's of the ride is pretty smooth. The first time I ever rode this, I thought it was the smoothest like floorless I've ever done. No, I mean, it's, and it's pretty it's smooth. Just, the sometimes rest of the ride it's smooth, is. sometimes it's shaky for me. That's- Honestly, it's just that last corkscrew for me. The rest of it's fine. The ride out pushed so down that- Oh like, my God, the ride out pushed so hard. And not gonna lie, I keep my fanny pack under my sweatshirt and it like pushed it into me. I thought he broke all my things. I thought he injured me. Like it was so bad. Boy thought that guy, cause I've actually never, like I've been stapled before, but this guy was on a whole different level. He had something against me, I swear. Like he pushed as hard as he possibly could. Well, we're heading to do Superman again, but it's currently down, so we will see about that. But this will be a very cool night ride when we get around to it, when it does reopen. Because look at this, these lights up the lift hill, the rest, no lights. 
one. Super sick. So Superman never opened, so we went to Wicked Cyclone. That's crazy at night. Since it's night now, it like warmed up so much and it was just so whippy and It's so fast. dark. Oh it my god, so you can't even fast. see us right now. <laughs> but it was so fast and you can't really see where you're going. And all the hoes, I mean scare actors are out too, so you can actually see over here. In the middle of a vlog? What the hell? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, this is the best scare zone we've seen so far. They're really nice. Look at her. Usually the one on the way to the entrance is fine. <laughs> where did this, where did you come from? Look at my beautiful baby son. My beautiful baby boy. Oh, isn't he the most beautiful bouncing boy you ever laid eyes on? Oh, nice. That was like a double whammy right there. We were in the middle of conversating with one scare actor, and the other one said, It's Ove. Bye. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. Let's get a night ride, and then we'll be heading out shortly. <laughs> you can't see anything. Pretty sweet view from up here, though. I'm, yeah, I'm excited. This is gonna be good. Here we go! Okay, Wicked Cyclone, <laughs> you can't see us. Wicked Cyclone was better at night than in the day, but Superman the Ride is way better at night than in the day. I mean, that thing is soaring. It just flies, it's so fast, it's crazy. It takes every element so fast. I love it, I love it at night. I think it's a great coaster at night. I mean, it does have just even more speed. It's warmed up. Not being able to see what's happening is fantastic. It's a really awesome layout. Especially on there. during at the, <laughs> especially during like the end at the spaghetti bowl section because it's completely dark. There's no lights around. You're just like in trees and stuff. It definitely enhances that it's part. So I'm not dark. the biggest fan of the spaghetti bowl part in the daytime, but at night it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Fire! Oh, the vape! The vape! Pretty good visit. It was fire. It was actually really fun. Fright fest. There weren't as many people as I thought there would be. Considering it's Fright Fest and it's like mid-October, kind of getting to be spooky season, like I thought there would be a lot of people. Also, since it was closed yesterday. Yeah, because of rain. Um, but it's not bad. Not Crowds bad. were fine. Not bad. I think this is a very solid park, and it has a lot of potential to be a great park. I think a lot of the problems this park has is just quintessential issues with Six Flags parks all abroad. Trash in some places, operations that are kind of slow, staff that don't really seem like they want to be here, that kind of thing. And food that just isn't great. I just think if you improved all those things, this could be such a good park. This is the case for like all the Six Flags parks, but. And then as far as lineup goes, it's a solid lineup. I think the top two is great. They just really need more. Like they're missing a launch coaster and they're missing like a solid family coaster. They're missing so much. And they really need to start investing more into this park because it gets so many people too. It seems weird that they haven't added a big ride, like a big coaster in a while. Their time for a big coaster needs to be coming it's up. It's time. Yeah, they need a good third place coaster. I, Dark Knight's a fun ride. It would be a great fourth, but I think a launch coaster is severely missing from their lineup. And then like Sam said, I think a family coaster, a really good one, could be great. Other than that, fun lineup. Top two is definitely like just great the way it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This could theoretically be the last vlog from the East Coast on this trip. We might have one more. You will see. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.